what's up everybody so we're back out in the shop and today we're working on the new forge so y'all know that i've been using this ammo can forge for a little while now and it's done its job it's been perfect for heat treating and doing things like that but now that i'm getting more into forging i need a full-size forge i need a forge that's actually meant for that so that's what we're working on today um, i'm going to show you how i built it and how i built my forge the burner a little bit of everything it's not so much a how-to video, but hopefully this does show you some of the things. Um, I will give y'all the links in the description for some of the materials that I used so that it makes it a little bit easier on y'all to source. But guys, let's go ahead, jump into it. Hopefully this motivates y'all to make one of these. Let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is use some fire brick seam sealer to put these pieces together and try to make this to where it's just all one piece. Now, this stuff is going to dry harder than the fire bricks are themselves, and it'll make it one solid piece. So we're going to go ahead and get everything lined up and just keep putting these pieces together so that we get the forge all set up. Now I went ahead and put a brick just loosely in the back there so that I can have the space to put that brick on and off whenever I need it as a backer or I don't need it. It is not sealed down like the other bricks. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is just do the back brick on the top and then also the front brick on the top. We're not going to do the center one yet because we have to drill a hole in that one which we'll see right now. So I'm just getting it marked for the center so that I can go ahead and drill through it. And this stuff is pretty soft so using a spade bit will go right through it. Just like that. And then we're going to actually modify this a little bit. So you have to take and make it to where you can recess the piece that you're going to screw on to the tube for your burner. And I'm going to be welding this to some bars later, which you'll see that. So we've got that there. And then on the bottom side, I actually went ahead and did a flare to help the flame on the torch side so it creates a really good flame all right and this right out. I'm going to go ahead and link uh, the video that I got this burner design from in the description so if y'all want to check out how this burner is built there's a guy who made this and has a video for it y'all can go ahead and check his video out it's a pretty cool little setup now, I will tell you, if you're going to follow his video, you need to follow the entire video sizes and all. Because I tried to use a different size uh, set of tubing and top piece and everything, and it did not work right. It did not create a very good flame. Doing it exactly how he does it creates a really good flame, just like you see here. Now we're going to go ahead and just tack weld the frame that's going to keep the forge piece stationary. And that's all I'm doing here, just tack welding. I am by no means a professional welder. I have a welder. I can weld, but it, it is not pretty. But like I said, these are just tack welds and I am going to go back and actually put full welds on all of these which by the time you're watching this video has already been done now there you go we got the this right here is a wrench that I might be doing a video for uh, this was an old worth monkey wrench this is the handle and I'm actually forging it out to a knife. 
this will give you an idea of how good the forge works. So here we go, let's get some hammering. think about the forge do you think it worked out well I really feel like it did I think that it's something that's gonna help me grow within my own knife making skills and I think it's something that will help the channel out um, it was not a very expensive thing I think all together I have about maybe a hundred and fifteen hundred and twenty dollars invested in it and that's with everything the stand the brick the steel the tubing for everything maybe not the propane tank if I had been the propane tank uh, it would probably be about a hundred and fifty dollars so hundred and fifty dollars for a forge that size that works that well definitely well worth it um, I'm a big fan of building things before you buy them because whenever you have to build it you learn more things about it you learn how the things work how it should be put together, how it should be built. Whenever you get the hands-on experience having to do it yourself, you know how to quality control check the things that you can purchase. That's why I built my own belt grinder. That's why I did different things like that so that whenever it was time to get one, I knew what to look for. I knew what I wanted. I knew how I wanted it to work, everything like that. So I always suggest if you can, try and build what you're gonna get first use it learn all the inner workings about it so that from that point forward you have the knowledge just in case you have to go back to the dark ages and make something again with your hands you can do it but guys if y'all haven't yet give this video a thumbs up share this video you know maybe this one or one that i've done in the past that might be your favorite plus if you haven't yet bottom corner hit the subscribe button so you get notified of whenever i make the stuff that's back here the thing that's in here you know, some of those things down there. That way you actually get notified of whenever those come out. But guys, when it comes to this one, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for checking this out. Y'all have an amazing day. Catch y'all next time.